This is a deserted island, and I have to survive 100 days. And I added a few mods, and I made it much harder than it had to be. For no reason at all. And uh, uh, there's some nasty, nasty things around. Oh, I'm uh, scared. There's powerful creatures walking through the forest. Uh, they have one purpose, to destroy me. Uh, this guy, a celestial dinosaur. And uh, this one, oh. Uh, you don't want to get too close to him. Uh, you'll end up like this. Yeah, uh, pretty deadly. Not to mention, a volcano that's ready to erupt at any moment and will destroy the entire island. However, there is one thing that you should know. If I die during this 100 days, then I will lose everything. And the locals call this island, the Island of Death. And we are going to the Island of Death and we need to survive 100 days. And I've set myself a few challenges along the way. First challenge is pretty simple. Do not die. Uh, that's a lot easier said than done, okay? It really is. Secondly, tame a fabled unicorn, mystical creature. Thirdly, tame a celestial dinosaur. Extremely powerful and rawr, very, very scary. Fourthly, take down a mini boss, a primal dinosaur. And finally, destroy an origin dinosaur, the strongest creature to have ever walked the island. So, will we be able to survive 100 days or will we not? Let's stay tuned and find out. And also, if you can hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy the video, then that would be much appreciated. Thank you. Day one. Now, it was an interesting day. Now, I found myself waking up on a beach, and whoever said this island is deserted lied to me. Now, I soon got attacked, and things wanted to eat me. Now, I had to run quick, and I knew that if I was going to survive, I needed tools and shelter. So I ran for the hills, and I witnessed something. Oh my god, what was that? Wow. Oh, look at that thing. Ooh! Oh my god. So I quickly realized that this island is uh, full of abominations everywhere, left, right, and center. I couldn't go anywhere without seeing one. So I made myself my tools, because a guy without tools is a useless guy. I got some hide, and yeah, it was pretty good. It was going well. I then got myself some stone, and then I made myself a cooking pot, because this could give good experience, you see? Two levels. I then made myself a bow and made myself some arrows, because a guy without a bow is probably a dead man walking. And I uh, got myself some more stone. So yes, uh, we almost died. He started coming towards me and I thought he was going to kill me. Now, luckily he didn't. I crafted some healing brews and we killed him. And yes, uh, obviously I'm just stronger than him. But you know, I harvested him and got myself some toxic hide and I had no idea what that did. I then made myself some hide armor and a wooden shield to protect myself. I then went around killing a bunch of dodos because um, I just felt murderous and yes, I just wanted to hide really. But yes. I then, obviously, night started to come, so I needed to make a raft. I needed shelter. I didn't want to be on the island for the night, so I made myself my raft and we placed it down, and that was it. You know, we went out on the ocean for the night, and yes. On day two, I was ready for the day. And I went out and started killing a bunch of dodos, killed a bunch of toxic dodos as well. And these guys are meant to be stronger than normal dodos, but I made easy work of them, don't worry. The bow is just too powerful. And then I got jumped out of nowhere by a compy. I felt kind of bad, but I had to kill him, so that's exactly what we did. And then I was following a tree, Nah, uh, this guy came up to me, he awkwardly sat there and watched me. I turned around and he tried to kill me, and I felt kind of bad for him, but I had to put him out. And then I started making a bunch of structures for my raft, because uh, my raft is pretty boring, and uh, I, I feel like it looked better. So I go back to work and, you know, and I started placing structures all on my raft, and uh, it started coming along nicely. I got back to work and started farming wood, and I was going to need quite a lot of it. And as I was minding my own business, I got attacked out of nowhere. Oh! What the? Oh, I hate these things. So, these things are pretty annoying, you know. They just take your loot, they eat it, and you never get it back. So, now, luckily I managed to kill it, and then I started crafting all the structures for the boat. And, you know, it started to come along nicely. Now, I took the whole day doing this, farming resources and building and farming resources and building. And that was pretty much it. Now, by the end of the day, it was pretty much done. I had a safe home, you know, a raft to live on for now. And I went to sleep in peace. The day three came, and uh, I spotted that guy over there. It's an explosive dodo. I didn't want to go near him. My raft would blow up and I would die. So I parked up down river, and somehow... Rocks ended up inside my boat. I don't really know how they got there. I definitely didn't place them there, so yeah, it's, uh, we won't worry about it. I then went out exploring, and I noticed some big bridge. Obviously, I had to check it out. I found this. It's a mantis saddle just sat there. 
It's kind of interesting. And then there was an angler, anglerfish here. So I wonder if I can farm it. Turned out that I could, but my hatchet broke. And yeah, I got back to farming it. And yeah, it's pretty cool. You got angle gel from this thing. So obviously that meant if I could find the manta, I could actually tame one up. So yeah, I then had a look in the water for a manta. And well, I couldn't find any. So carried on. And we start farming wood because this is my main project for today. Farming a bunch of wood and just getting rich. So I then got in my raft, had to place down more storage boxes as I ran out of place to put stuff. And filled up a chest of wood and it was looking pretty good. I then went out and spotted this guy. It's a, looks like a featherlight, but it's, it looks a lot bigger than a normal featherlight. I'm pretty sure featherlights aren't normally that size. So yeah, it's a, pretty cool. Maybe I can tame it. Who knows? I then got to farming some flint and uh, some stone. Yeah, this was quite important. I needed a lot of flint and stone. So I spent pretty much the rest of the day doing this. And we just ended up with a lot of resources. Yeah, it was going pretty well. I then made myself a forge and placed it down. And then I made myself a bed. And we went to sleep. Day four. I felt adventurous. So I left my base. And I went for a walk. I nearly found myself in a near-death experience. Luckily, I survived. And I wasn't actually where it exploded. Otherwise, I would have been dead. But, you know, I found some resources inside of this dodo. Kind of weird. You know, maybe it eats gunpowder and obsidian. I don't know. And then I found this guy. A big red dodo. It's an alpha dodo. It's pretty weird. Yeah, I would never seen one of these before. I harvested it and got some alpha hide and alpha blood. I then found an egg just sitting here along the floor. And I stole it. Yeah, this guy was not going to catch up to me. He's a turtle. Turtles are not quick. I then ended up killing this guy. It's uh, another dodo. A toxic dodo. But this time, I actually got some loot from it. I got a flat blueprint and some arrows. And these arrows are nine times more potent than a normal arrow. I then tried killing a turtle. Yes, the turtle that I stole his egg. And he wasn't very happy. And I then ended up running out of arrows. Now, they're very tanky, these guys. So I gave up and ended up finding a iced featherlight. Now, I'd never seen one of these before, but that's pretty cool. Maybe I can tame it. Who knows? I then tamed my first creature, which was a male dodo, native dodo baggins. Oh, that's a perfect name. Okay, come on, follow me. Let's go. So I took him back to the raft where he'd be safe, made a few structures, and then went to sleep. Day five, I started to build myself a new house. And it was a temporary house, just for now. And it started to come along nicely. It was, you know, it was looking pretty good. I made myself a smithy, and then with the smithy, I made myself a metal hatchet. It's a lot better than a stone hatchet. I then set sail, and we went over to the island, this little island here, and he killed a dodo. Strangely enough, it had some pretty interesting loot. It actually had the narcotics again, and a tame helper. That one is pretty self-explanatory. I then started to get myself some more wood, and yeah, and that's all we pretty much did. One hour later. So we ended up with quite a lot of wood, you know, I filled up another chest of wood, and I killed a dodo, and I actually got a metal shield from this dodo. Yeah, that's going to be pretty helpful, it protected myself. I then finished building the little house, and I decided and I didn't like it. I I actually hate it. I actually hate it. This is awful. I'm disappointed in myself. The night came, and I went to sleep whilst reflecting on my actions of today's building. On day six, I went out looking for metal, and metal is extremely rare, and it's very hard to find. So I parked up my raft, and inside of rocks apparently, and uh, yeah, I found a new creature. What is that? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come get me. <laughs> my shield is too strong, and you missed. And then I decided to tame him up, because uh, he's pretty cool. And you know the drill, I just started shooting arrows into him, a lot of them. But this time, I ran out of arrows. But luckily, for me, he actually just fell unconscious. So, that's uh, pretty good. I gave him some food, and then I left him. I went on my way to go harvest some bodies, or at least I fought. Ah! Oh my god, wait, have... oh my god. Why is, why is it chasing me? Oh my god. So yes, this guy, he's pretty crazy, I don't really know his problem, but uh, he wanted to kill me, and I had no idea why, I didn't even do anything towards him, but uh, you know, he had his issues, and yeah, I eventually I managed to make my great escape, and it was all good. Oh, 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 why is he coming to me? Oh my god, get off me. Oh no. Oh, the parasaur, oh no. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I'm out of stamina. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! 
Luckily, I did not die today. I had myself some healing potions and we survived the, the danger. I harvested the creatures and made a saddle and put the dinosaur on the raft where he was safe. I then needed to find metal, so I set out looking. Unfortunately, there was nothing at all, except for my primal raptor, and I decided I did not want to die today, so I just went back and went back home, where it was exactly safe for me. I left the dinosaurs here, and I went out venturing for more metal, and I couldn't find nothing, so I just went to sleep. On day 7, I found metal, finally, and it was protected by an allosaur, and this guy was scary. Ah! My raft. My raft. My raft. My raft. My raft. My raft. And as I thought it was over, no, I was wrong. Ooh! 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 Stop it. I eventually managed to kill him, no problem here, and you know, powerful, you know. I'm joking, he nearly destroyed my raft and nearly killed me. But uh, yes, we then went out farming metal, because you know what they say, a guy with metal is a guy with power. So, we got as much metal as we could and we took it back to the boat. And we started smelting it up, and then I saw something I really didn't want to see. Oh my god, oh, why is it chasing? <gasps> Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Why is it chasing me? It looks so ridiculous. Uh, oh, my stamina. Oh no. No, 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 Ow. 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 Oh my god, that's close. Wow. Uh, scary. Luckily, we survived the attack and we made bowlers for ourselves because they say a guy with bowlers is a guy that's probably not going to die as much. So I then went out farming more metal and things were looking good. You know, nice. Somehow just got a lot of metal and now I was addicted to it. I took it back and then we went to sleep for the night. On day 8, I made a sickle and I wanted to go farming fibre, so I set sail and that's exactly what we did. I killed a dodo on my way, I got a flak leg in BP and I got a crossbow. Yeah, that's uh, pretty cool and I got that for free, that's uh, pretty nice. I then got into the farming uh, my fibre and we ended up with quite a lot, you see. Uh, I just carried on, I was addicted to farming you know, that much that I forgot about my stamina and I knocked myself out. I remained unconscious for pretty much the entire rest of the day, and yes, night time came, so we, we just kind of uh, went to sleep for the rest of the day and chilled out. On day 9, I needed to get myself some crystal, and this is a whole challenge of in itself. So I made myself some parachutes, made some grapples, and you know, I had to uh, grapple to the tallest mountain I could find, and that is where all the crystal is. So I used grapples to propel myself upwards, and that's exactly what we did, we made it quite high, and it was pretty fun. And uh, I made it halfway up the mountain, and we still had a bit further to go. But as known, sometimes grapples can be a bit glitchy, and uh, they just don't work. They just decide, no. But luckily, I managed to get it working, and we made it to the top of the mountain. And, wow, it's a, it's a long way up, and it really is. But, you know, we eventually got our crystal. There was a lot of it up here, and we ended up with quite a lot. So, it was sorted. We went back down, and there was a long way down. We got back to the raft, then we were sorted. We had a crystal, we made a primal smithy, and then, yes, we was, uh, I placed it down. You know, and as simple as that. I looked inside and I, did, I had no idea what half this stuff even was, but I'm sure we'll figure it out soon. I then set sail and uh, I found a little island. Yeah, a, I thought this place was deserted. I got lied to again. I guess it is, the main island is deserted, I'll give it that, but, you know, there's a guy fishing in the water, and that's pretty interesting. I wonder if I can make friends with them. Now let's go find out. Hello? Hello? Anyone here? Oh, hello. Hello, sir. No, hello. Ow! Ow! I'm waving! What's the hell, man? <gasps> oh, no. So, yes, I ended up getting knocked out, and it lasted quite a while. But I eventually woke up, and I attacked their house. They did not like this one bit. They chased me down, and yes, they wasn't very happy. I went to my raft and took it as a cover, you know? I used it, and... I started killing them all. I just went on a killing spree and I just, you know, just killed them all. You know, as simple as that. They should not have attacked me. <gasps> what the hell? And then I killed the remaining ones of them and I spotted a level 135 Pelagornis. I then went to sleep. On day 10, I found the Pelagornis again. I tracked him down and I chased him down and I lined up the raft. I then bowled him from the raft and... It was as simple as that. No, it really is. It's just that easy. You know, he landed in the water, and I knocked him out, and yeah, that's uh, easy as it goes. I moved the raft, and he fell down. I, I don't really know why, but, uh, you know, I gave him a tame helper, and it made him tame up quicker, so, you know, there was no drowning Pelagonis today. 
And it was as easy as that. No, we, we tamed him up and, you know, we put him on the roof of the boat. And I tried to name him Roger. And I say tried to name him Roger because I spent a long time trying to figure out how to actually spell Roger. Yes, I, I failed English five times for that exact reason. And I think even to this day, he might be spelt wrong, but it's fine. Okay, we, we, it's fine. That's Roger or Roger. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. And then we set sail. We had a place to be and I wanted to explore. So, you know, I went around and found a new beach. And then, luckily, I, I noticed something. Oh my god. That thing is... What is that? Oh my god. What is this? Wow. Wow. This is awesome. Wow. It flies! Wait a minute. Hold up. It flies? So, this was the first day that I'd ever seen a fabled unicorn, and these things are cool. Honestly, I soon looked at what I needed to tame one, and I knew it was going to take a while before I could ever even tame one. So, I left my boat, and uh, I got into a fight with a bunch of people. I don't know where they came from, but they wanted to kill me. They did try pretty well. They almost did kill me. They knocked me out, at least. But luckily, they showed mercy. They didn't kill me while I was unconscious. And I got back up and started fighting them again, and I got knocked out again. I don't know what it is, but these guys have some pretty strong narcotics, and uh, they just drug me up every time. But luckily, I killed them later on, and uh, I got a bunch of hide off them. They didn't stand a chance, but they're just annoying. And then we sailed back and went to sleep. On day 11, I just flew around the map. I had no idea where anything was, so I figured it would be best to try and learn. And then, as I was flying, I found this guy, and he looks bigger than usual. I swear to god, moss chops aren't normally that big. But you know, I then got back to farming and taming, and yeah, as I was taming the Dodicarus, I started flying around, picking him up with my wing, and then he just disappeared. Huh? Wait, what? Huh? Huh? So I decided then I'll just go back and call it a day. Day 12, and I needed cement and paste, so I went out and farmed a bunch of beaver dams after I eventually found them. And yes, there was quite a lot of beaver dams actually, and there was just you know, paste everywhere. I got a bunch of mushrooms and flowers of it as well, which was quite nice. And then I went up to the volcano for the very first time. And it's uh, a lot scary. Oh, what's this? Oh, hell no, dude. Nah, I'm out of here. So, obviously, we avoided death today, and then we went through the other entrance. I harvested some sulfur, and then I tried to harvest this thing, and it was nothing. I felt kind of stupid after that, but it was fine. We got back to farming, and I felt kind of anxious. I was in the middle of the volcano, and I could die at any moment. And if a, a dragon came and attacked me, I would probably die as well. So, I carried on farming and harvesting all the obsidian I could, because I needed it to make polymer, and then I could make cryopods. On my way back, I spotted an apex allosaurus, and this guy is kind of cool, not going to lie. But you know, after this, I decided, why not go back and go to sleep? Day 13, I went and farmed oil, uh, you know, I went and farmed it in the water, and you didn't get much, I tell you, you know, I got very little oil from it, but I eventually had enough to make some cryopods, and, you know, they're not very expensive, so I spent the entire day looking where I could even craft cryopods in the first place, and I eventually had to resort to Google, and I found this. It was a little ruin, it was kind of cool, but, you know, I, I eventually made cryopods, and it was going well, I managed to make five. So I got my five cryopods and, you know, that was it. We started flying back and we went to sleep when we got home. On day 14, I went around looking for an iguanodon as I needed one to farm berries. And, you know, I had no luck. I found this guy, though. It's an Omega Allosaurus. Uh, quite scary, but he looks quite cool. I didn't want to get too close, otherwise he'd probably just destroy me and probably kill me in uh, two bites or even one. But then I eventually found an iguanodon and, you know, things were going well. At least I fought. I missed my first bowler. I then hit my second, so it was all good. I then knocked him out and, you know, tamed him up, and we took him home. We went and farmed some berries with him after this, and I got some narco berries. I then made some narcotics, and then made some stronger narcotics with them, and then we went to sleep. Day 15 to 16, I made myself some better flak, and this is not ordinary flak. This is flak that is tainted in the blood of my enemies, the blood of the alphas, so hopefully dinosaurs are now going to be scared of me. Probably not, and, you know, they're probably all going to still try to kill me, I can guarantee it. And then we made ourselves some better trank darts, and yeah, we headed out, looking for an Argentavius and an Ankylosaurus, because my metal supply was running pretty bad. So, I went out looking for two days, I eventually found myself level 140 Argentavius. I tracked him down, and I knew that I had to tame him, I had no other choice. He then knocked out, and I gave him some food, and that's pretty much it, as simple as that. 
by the end of the day, I tamed myself an Ankylosaurus, and we had ourselves a Argentavius and an Anklo. I then actually then found a dead fabled creature, just sitting on the floor. Yes, I got a bunch of loot from it, as you see, including an experience potion. I used that to level myself up to max level, and then I went back and went to sleep. On day 19, I wanted to kill Trilobites, because they're like a little jackpot. You kill them, and you get a lot of resources, and they're pretty profitable. And yes, I found two, unfortunately I didn't find no more, but what I did find was an Arshalom. Pretty cool, so I decided, why not tame him on? So well, that's exactly what I did, I fed him once, and then a few feeds later, and he was eventually mine. And it was as simple as that. And then obviously later in the day, I went looking for more Trilobites, and had no luck at all. But eventually, I found a few more, I killed them, and harvested them all, and then I had enough chitin to be able to make the saddles. I then went out, and tamed myself a Dodicarus, and we went back to base, made the Argentavia saddle, and made an Anklo saddle. And yeah, I then named it Arshlon, Arshilong, it was pretty creative. And I then went out, farmed some metal, it was going pretty well, you know, the day was pretty good, I was getting rich on metal. And by the end of the day, we actually ended up having a decent amount of metal, and I was quite happy with it. So we flew back and decided we'd call it a day and we'd go to sleep. On day 18, I went and tamed the Therizino. But across the way from the Therizino, I noticed a dead fabled trope in the Gothianius. Yeah, nah, I think that's what it's called. But uh, I got a bit of loot from him, which was kind of cool. And then I started knocking out the, the Therizino. About four or five shots later, it didn't take long at all, he started running away, which meant he was very close to being knocked out. And after I knocked him out, I fed him, I gave him a tame helper, and then he soon tamed up, and it was going pretty well. And then I named the Argentavius Pigeon, as a suitable name. And then I went out farming stone. I wanted to start building a new base over the next few days, and today this house was going to be the biggest house I've ever built in my life. It's uh, very creative. So I went farming and crafting, and that was pretty much all I did for the rest of the day. From day 19 to day 29, I spent my entire time building my new home. And I started out by building my footprint, and it was coming along nicely. I ran out of resources, so I had to go farm more. And then, through the night, I spent the time crafting, and the next day building. And I repeated this process for the next nine days of just farming, and crafting, and building. And it started to come along nicely. And I actually, you got the idea of this uh, base design from a video on YouTube. So, I'm going to leave a link down to the video of how to build this in the description. But yes, by day 29, it started coming along nicely. And I finished off by building the dino pen. It is made out of wood, but uh, yes, we, we're not going to talk about that, and the fact that everything can destroy it. But you know, what we appreciate is the fact that it looks nice, and I could call this place my new home. A safe haven. Day 30, I spent the entire day moving the raft over to the new base, and sorting out the dinosaurs, and throwing them out, and that was pretty much all I did for the entire day. On day 31, I went out to farm hide, and I found a perfect spot to farm it, so I just started killing everything and getting as much as I could. Whoa! Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. I then found that I killed an Apex Dilophosaur and got some Apex blood and an Apex hide. And then I also found an Apex egg, which was pretty cool. And then I started uh, knocking out dodos as I wanted to start taming things. And I would need eggs for kibble. So we tamed a few up and that was pretty much it for the rest of the day. I then saw this guy, there's a kamikaze dodo. And I risked it for a biscuit and I shot him with a trank dart. And I actually knocked him out. And I thought I was going to die, so I ran away when he tamed up. But luckily he didn't blow up when I tamed him up. And we actually managed to tame a kamikaze dodo, which was quite cool. And that was pretty much it for the rest of the day. Day 32, I felt kind of worried. You know, I started placing defenses around my house. Because I was kind of worried that a, a dodo might blow it up. Yes, I know that might sound ridiculous, but a little chicken could easily blow up my house. And I placed these to prevent it, and hopefully it'll work. I made some smithies, a grill, and a fabricator. And then I placed them inside the house, because I wanted to start utilizing them. I then moved all the resources inside the house, and I organized them. It started going well, and uh, obviously at this point, I would have to start using the house more. Day 33, I went out looking for a dung beetle, and I had no luck, but I did find a beaver dam. Got some cement and paste, and got myself some mushrooms, and then I saw a fabled beaver. I was kind of interested, so I tried to kill it. Oh! Ow! What the f so, uh, luckily, we didn't die. It was very close. It was a close call, as you see. One more bite, and we probably would have been very dead. But, luckily, we didn't. And I found a dung beetle later on in the day, and I tamed him up. And then I found a second one on my way back, and I decided, why not tame him up as well? Then we had ourselves two dung beetles, so we flew home, and, you know, I gave them a place to live. I then got some poop from around the base, as this is used, and is basically fertilized. They fertilize it for me, which is pretty cool. Day 34, I started placing crop plots in my greenhouse, because a greenhouse without crop plots is not really a greenhouse. So, you know, I got them down and started building them. 
And then obviously I needed to put some seeds in there, so I put some poop in there and then put some rock carrot seeds in there and it was sorted. Except it wasn't. It needed water. So I placed some water towards the greenhouse and it was then sorted. You know, it was then getting irrigated. I then went out that night, farmed some narco berries as I wanted to make some narcotics. And then we went back, made the narcotics and they're a lot stronger than normal ones. I then made some darts and these were going to knock things out like they were nothing. Day 35 and I was feeling a little bit experimental. I wanted to see what would happen, so I sent Edward over to some kamikaze dodos and I wanted to see if he'll die or live, you know, see how powerful he really is. So, you know, I sent him over there eventually. I had to whistle him in that direction on aggressive and yeah, we, we watched it unfold. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Whoa, okay. Wait, huh? He, he didn't die. How did he, wait, there was two. Two didn't blow up, right? I don't think they did. So, it turned out they both did actually blow up, and I had nothing to be worried about. Edward, are you okay? Oh, Edward. Oh my god, you nearly died. So, we made it back, and obviously he didn't die. At least, yeah, I still had to make it back to the base where it was safe. But, uh, you know, I got back and started seeding up all the crop plots with everything I needed, and eventually I made my first bit of kibble. There's uh, some toxic kibble. And with this, I can actually go tame some toxic creatures, and that's exactly what I did. I flew out looking for something to tame, and I couldn't find anything. You know, I literally looked everywhere. But what I did see was this guy. What is an alpha dime? I can't believe how big this thing is. Wow. So I ended up finding my first toxic dinosaur. There was a toxic dodo. But obviously nighttime came. So I tamed him up and we went back and just went to sleep. The next day, on day 36, I threw him out. And what I didn't realize is that I could actually ride him. Wait. I could ride him? Oh my... What? What? I then went out and started looking for female toxic dodos, as I would need an egg production if I was going to progress and, you know, get each and every different dinosaur. Because uh, it's kind of like progression layers, you know, you need one kibble to get the next one, and you need that kibble to get the next one. And yeah, that's pretty much what we did. We went out looking, and then I actually spotted a female uh, kamikaze dodo. So obviously I tamed him up, it was really that easy. And then I bred them, and uh, you would never guess what, and I got myself a kamikaze dodo egg. It was uh, pretty cool. I had never seen one of these before. I then hatched it, and obviously. I had to. I had no other choice. And we got a baby kamikaze dodo. I had to make sure, obviously, nothing was unaggressive. Otherwise, if it got eaten as a baby, uh, my base would have been gone. But then we carried on, and I found this. Ah. Uh, knocked out. Uh, tameable by anyone. I didn't knock that out. Oh, uh, I guess you knocked it out, huh? Well, you know what? Karma is a thing. So I then took the females back to the house where they belonged and I started breeding them with the male. And uh, you know, they gave me some eggs, the eggs hatched and I got a baby a toxic dodo. And unfortunately it was a male, so I was probably gonna have to kill it. And the other one was a male as well, and that kinda sucked. Day 37, I spent the whole day getting anxious and worrying that my base was gonna blow up. Obviously I placed spikes around my base and you know, if an explosive dodo walked into the spike, it'd probably just blow up and blow up my base. So I went around and placed walls around my entire base, which would prevent that from happening. Now, this took the entire day. On day 38, I went out to fly and then I went to tame an Alpha Argentavius. I unfortunately witnessed the death of an innocent one. Oh, it was level 140! No! So luckily he wasn't actually level 140, but I did find a level 135. So I started knocking him out, and he landed inside a tree. I don't even know how that's possible, but you know, he's there. And it is what it is. Hopefully, maybe I can even chop it down. Let's see, can I chop it? No? He's just gonna, okay, he's just gonna float there. Nah, brilliant. That is awesome. But he eventually tamed up, and obviously he was mine. I, I look at the stats on that guy. He's uh, pretty powerful. And then I tried to attack a parasol, and it didn't go very well. I actually thought I was going to die, and I thought my Argent was going to lose its life. But I used my brain, and then obviously what I did is I cryopodded it to cancel the effect of it taking damage. So, with Pidgeon surviving today, we obviously threw it out and went back to base. And then I had one thing to do. Make myself an Alpha Argentavia saddle. And that's exactly what we tried to do, except I didn't have enough hide. So I went out to the Ferrazino and killed some Alphas, got some hide, and then tried to take down an Alpha Kentrosaurus and very nearly died. He nearly outmatched me. Ow! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh, that was close. Wow. So luckily we managed to survive and then we made our way home. And obviously I then made myself my Alpha Argentavia saddle and uh, it was sorted. I then 
tested him out and look at him. He's pretty cool, not gonna lie. On day 39, I fed my Argentavius an experience potion, and would you know it, he got 60 levels. That's pretty impressive. I leveled him up, and wow, he was quite powerful. You know? I then took him out, and I went to go test him, and I figured out that I could actually pick up a carbon enemies with this guy. And I don't think that's normal. I don't think you can normally pick them up, but uh, this guy's an alpha, so. And when I was exploring, I ended up coming across this guy. I had no idea what this was, but uh, it was pretty cool. What is that? Legendary Pegasus. Whoa! There's there's another one? There's two! So, now I was going to be needing myself one of those, and yeah, that day will come. But for now, we went inside the volcano. I went exploring. I couldn't really see much, but I got a glider suit and a fabricated sniper rifle. So, you know, nah, it was pretty weird. I didn't expect to just find them lying on the floor. But then I found a chest, and uh, it, I actually figured out that I could craft cryopods here. I never knew it. But I took the gems and it disappeared. I got debated. I was really looking forward to using that. But then I just went home and went to sleep. On day 40, I made myself some elemental kibble and we went out and we went looking for feather lights and I wanted to tame some. And I found one eventually and I tried to knock it out. Unfortunately, I just kept missing. I couldn't hit it at all. I then tried to bowl worm. Missed that as well. It was uh, going great. I eventually managed to bowl worm and knock him out. And I think his hitbox is a little bit smaller. But you know the drill, we got him tamed up, but what I didn't know is that I could actually fly him. Oh my. I, look how big I am compared to him. <laughs> so we moved on and uh, I actually found an ice feather light. Now this guy was kind of cool, but uh, I went to go knock him out and he wasn't very friendly. You know, he, uh, he wanted to kill me. He actually hurt as well. And I thought I was probably going to die during this and uh, it wasn't very fun, I tell him. He was just bullying me for straight five minutes while I was trying to knock him out. And over and over again, he just kept freezing me and nearly killing me. But eventually, I lost him. I couldn't find him anywhere. But luckily, in this game, there is a, a taming tracker. And I actually noticed that he was knocked out. So I tracked down where he was and tamed him up. And it was perfect. But obviously, I had to give the guy a little try out. And uh, I attacked something. I killed it in one hit. And then I went home and went to sleep. On day 41, I found myself a level 150 iced featherlight. I tried to tame him. And it didn't go very well. Oh my god. No, 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 no. So, other than the fact that we almost died, I didn't have enough metal to even repair my flak. So I went out and had to do a big metal run. Now we just got as much as we could, honestly. And we ended up with quite a lot. I filled up all the forges with about four stacks each. And then I went back to tame the featherlight. Now this time I made a trap though. I was more prepared. And then I got attacked by a bunch of things and it was kind of annoying. But yeah, we finished the trap and I shot him and led him inside. It was really that easy. He flew in on his own pretty much and there we go, we had him trapped. Now, you know the procedure, we just shot him and knocked him out and then we just tamed him up. And he was mine and then that was it for the day, I went home. On day 42 I tamed myself an electrical featherlight, it was kind of cool so I tamed it up and yeah, I then gave it a little test drive and I tell you, it wasn't very fun now. I thought it would be more powerful than this and unfortunately it wasn't. So I went back, made some apex kibble and then we went out and tamed two female feather lights. Both of them are alpha and you know I needed the eggs for kibble so it, it all came for a good purpose. And that was pretty much it for the rest of the day. I just spent the day collecting eggs. On day 43 I went and tamed myself a cow stick feather light. And basically I actually have no idea what this actually does but uh, yeah I put it in the trap anyway and decided to just tame it up. So you know the drill I obviously knocked it out as usual and I tamed it up. And honestly I had no idea what this did. What if I drop a... Oops, uh, but soon after, I didn't learn the first time and I did it again. Oh shoot! And eventually, after spending a long time unconscious, I woke up and I found the male Apex Therizino. And so I took it upon myself and went to tame him. And after a few shots, it didn't take long at all until he was eventually knocked out. And I tamed him up and uh, obviously now I'll just need females. On day 44, I made myself an Archelon saddle. Archelon, Archelon. It's the same thing, okay. I then tested him out, and it was kind of fun, but I wondered, maybe if I can pick him up with the Argentavius. But I couldn't, I was wrong there. So we took him out for a little test, and he was kind of fun. The rest of the day, I just kind of chilled. Day 45, I went around taming Alpha Dodos, as I needed egg production. You know, so I tamed a male, and uh, then I spent a lot of time looking around for a female, and then I eventually found one. So, you know, I started hitting him and knocking him out, and eventually, he knocked out. At this point, obviously, I tamed him up, and it was good to go. 
I shot a nuka dodo and uh, blew up half the forest, and yeah, I just ignored it. I then knocked out another female, and uh, it was pretty good. And I then later on in the day, before nighttime came, I found another. And I knocked it out and tamed it up. Day 46, I flew around looking for Apex Therizinos to tame, and I didn't find any, but what I did find was a primal raptor, and I spent the rest of my day distracted trying to kill him, and well, I thought I could take him on, but well. 20 minutes later. I was attacking him for a long time, you know, and eventually, I just gave up, because I wasn't even doing anything to him. After a long time of attacking him, he wasn't even bloody, so we just went home for the day, and it was night time, so I just went to sleep. On day 47, I went out looking for Ferrazinos to tame, and I had no luck yet. I actually found a level 150 Celestial Allosaurus on the way, and uh, that guy is pretty cool. I wish I could tame him, but you know, if I got too close, he'd probably kill me in one hit. So I flew away and ended up finding a female Ferrazino to tame, so obviously I knocked him out and tamed him up for the day. On day 48, I threw out my Therizinos and turned them on Maiden. I wanted them to breed. They gave me an egg in return, and then I hatched it, and I got a male Therizino. But unfortunately, this was useless to me, so I killed it. I then made a saddle for the Ferrazino. It turned out I actually made the wrong one. And then I made an apex saddle, and the right one. I put it on the Ferrazino, and then later on, I had another baby. It was a female this time, so I kept it. And then went out farming wood, and honestly, you actually get a lot of wood with this guy. It's really good. I just kept on getting so much, and I could carry a lot as well, just because of the fact that this guy had so much weight. I killed a Nuko Dodo outside my base, and then, yeah, look at the amount of wood I had. I had so much wood. I went back to the base and I got stuck in a gate. It was kind of fun. I then made myself some kibble and the nighttime came. So we decided to call it a day and go to sleep. On day 49, I spent the entire day looking for some Pegasuses to tame as I had kibble. And eventually I actually found one. And luckily for me, it flew straight into the corner. And yeah, it was pretty easy to tame since it did that. I don't really know why it did that. It just basically, it must have obviously wanted to be tamed by me. I then found another one, and this one was kind of harder to knock out. I had to jump off my bird to shoot it. And eventually, it came near me, and I knocked it out. I tamed it up, and I tamed the other one up as well. I went out with it and gave it a little test, and apparently I could farm. Yeah, yeah it had some crazy things. I could farm metal, I could farm stone, and it was kind of fun. I got a bunch of crystal as well. I then flew home that day, and that was it. Day 50. I threw out the unicorns, and I started to breed them together. I then went out and tried to kill this guy. It's a, an Apex Calicotherium, and it didn't go very well. <sighs> oh, 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 no, no, no. Luckily, we didn't die, so I went out farming, and I got a bunch of metal, got a bunch of stone as well, and it was going well. I really was. I was getting a bunch of metal, and after we got loads, we went back, and we had quite a lot. I filled up all the forges, and we was once again a rich man. I then got triplets out of the unicorns, and that was kind of cool, except from one thing. They were all males, and that kind of sucked. On day 51, I spent the entire morning just imprinting my babies. And then I went out later with the Ferrazino and farmed a bunch of resources, and I spent the entire day just gathering a thatch, fiber, and wood, and we ended up with quite a lot. It was pretty good. On day 52, I was tired of living in the dark, so I made myself an electrical generator, I placed it down and uh, boxed it in. I then obviously went around doing all my electrics after this and wired everything up and this took a bit of time. Was, uh, I had to be very careful. And then I started placing lamps down and that was it for the day. It looked good. On day 53, I unclaimed my Ferrazinos that I raised and I killed them. The reason is because I get a load of resources off them and I got a load of hide and that was super useful. I then went out farming later with a Pegasus and got a bunch of resources. Stone, sand, wood thatch and also cactus sap. And I needed that for clay. So then we went back and we got a load of pearls as we would need it for a chemistry bench. And we needed it for electronics. So I got a good handful of those. Went back, had a look what we needed. And then I made some polymer. Because that's all we needed. Then made myself my chemistry bench. And job was a good one. I placed it down and I started making myself clay. And that was it for today. I went to sleep after this. From day 54 to day 59, I started farming and crafting and building. I had a new project I wanted to do, and that was build myself a dino pen. I was running out of space to be able to actually store a lot of the things that I was going to be getting, and I decided, you know what, why not just build a big dino pen? Instead of making an actual building, why not just build a wall? You know, keep the bad things out and keep the good things in. 
So that's exactly what I did. I spent a few days just building and crafting and building. And eventually, within time, it actually started to look really well. So I started to build it higher and eventually it actually came along nicely. I started putting the ceilings along the top and it had pretty much done at this point. I placed the gates on and I was happy with it. But there was one more thing that I had to do to give it the finishing touch. Place roofs. So I placed the ceilings and then started placing the roofs all the way along. And this took a few days of basically farming them and placing them as they're quite expensive, especially for this many of them. I obviously farmed and then went out again and started placing them. And eventually I had finished. And it looked good, it really did, and I was really happy with the finished result. And then I realized that I left my unicorns on breeding, and uh, you know, I quickly turned them off. And on this day, you're going to forget everything you saw next. Anything you see next, you did not see. If you see someone in the comments saying that I died, tell them they're wrong. Tell them they're having a bad memory or something, you know, because I didn't die, okay? It might have looked that way, but I didn't, okay? And that's on this day, there's a rule as well. If you die on day 59, it doesn't count. So I don't care what you say, this did not count at all. So we're going to carry on. Nothing happened. You're going to forget it. And we, I don't want to see nothing in the comments. Keep it clear, okay? Oh, no. Oh, no. No, that didn't count. That did not count. Oh, oh my base is gone. Is It's all gone. It's gone. Okay, this did not count. I do not- this did not count. No way. So, yeah, that kind of happened, but from the rest of day 59 to the day 62, I spent the entire time repairing it. It didn't take too long, luckily, as I had most of the resources already. And yeah, it started to come along nicely and look normal again, as if nothing had ever happened, and... Well, yes, nothing happened. I, I don't know what you're even on about. I don't know what I'm on about. Nothing even happened. I, I don't know. No, I don't know what you're on about. Nope, nothing happened here. On day 62, I made myself some Apex Flak, and this Flak did look pretty good. I was tainted in the blood of my enemies, you know, the, the Apex Dinosaurs. Then I made myself some Elemental Kibble, and moved my dinosaurs outside. They fit a lot better out here, and it just looked a lot cleaner. Then I made myself a Featherlight Saddle, and for the day, I went to sleep. Day 63 to day 64, I gave myself a new haircut, you know, and uh... I liked it. I quite like this haircut. It went well. It made me look like Lord Farquaad. Look at this. Yeah, you see the resemblance. I do. And then obviously I went out looking for a dark and light feather light, and this took pretty much the entire two days, and I eventually found a high level, level 145. So I knocked it out. I obviously had a trap, but I didn't even need it. And I quickly tamed it up, and obviously I wanted to try him out. So I took him out, started killing a bunch of things, and honestly it is quite powerful. It's quite fun to use as well, and then I almost died. <gasps> oh my! What the? And to end the day, I almost died again. It was a very close call. Oh, what the? F From day 65 to day 66, I spent the entire two days looking for a featherlight that I could actually breed with mine. And eventually, I found one. So obviously, I had no other choice but to tame him up, and I took him home. I bred him on mine and got myself a dark featherlight egg. I then hatched him, and it was kind of cool. It's actually kind of cute. So, I ended the day here, I just kind of raised this, and I went to sleep. On day 67, I imprinted my Dark Featherlight, and once it raised, I gave it some experience potions. Leveled it up, and obviously, you know, it was quite overpowered. Look at them snats. Then made myself my first Fabled Kibble, and then I went and collected eggs from around the base. There was a lot of them. And after this, I went out, and I went looking for something Fabled that I could tame, and I found this guy. There's an Omega Allosaurus. So, I killed him, and uh... Well, now check this out. I got a got a god life long neck. That's pretty crazy. And then I got jump scared. Whoa! Oh my god, that was scary. I don't... On day 68, I went out farming metal with a Pegasus. You know, I wanted a lot of metal as the forges were empty and I was running low. So I actually ended up getting quite a lot, you see, and uh, I filled up all the forges. It was looking pretty good. And then what I needed was obsidian. So I went out to the volcano, started harvesting a bunch of obsidian, and I got a lot. I got a bit of sulfur as well, and uh, yeah, as you see, we ended up with quite a lot of obsidian. So I took it all back to the base, all back to the house, and started crafting up polymer. And then all we needed was oil and a bit of other stuff. So I went out getting oil, tried to find the best way to actually harvest it, and I wasn't really getting too much. So I started experimenting, I wondered maybe I can get more of a pegasus. And I was wrong. The Pegasus is awful. Maybe with the Anklo? 
26, and it's slightly better, but it's still not very good. On day 69, I tried it with the Ferrazino, and actually it was quite effective. The fact that it killed Trillobites fast meant I could harvest oil fast, so it was pretty good. And then went out and noticed this guy. What in the... what is that? Oh, we hit him hard. We hit him hard. Come on. Oh, he's got the debuff. He's got the debuff. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's, he is toasted. So I easily took him down without a problem, but then I found this guy. And I knew straight away that I was going to need to tame him. So that's exactly what I did. I knocked him out. Just gonna feed you this. Boom. Team helper. Ah! <gasps> That took two kibble? And it didn't take long till I soon realized that I tamed the wrong thing. Why why can't I fly? I, I I can't fly. Did I tame the wrong thing? I tamed the wrong one. I used my kibble on it. No! So, I accidentally tamed a fabled Equus instead of a fabled unicorn. And uh, I'm sure you can understand how I got the two mixed up. But yes, um, kind of sad. I wasted my kibble on him, but it's fine. He looks kind of cool anyway. And we'll get him next time, you know? That's what I could keep telling myself. So then I went home, and to be fair, he does look kind of cool, so I'm not too annoyed. On day 70, I replaced the forges with better ones. Forges that would actually cook faster. And then I went out to the volcano, and... Well, I started hearing some weird noises. Oh my goodness, what is going on? I feel like there's something happening up here. I don't feel safe. I feel like I'm about to die. Hopefully not. So, that right there is an Origin Argentavius, one of the hardest bosses that I am yet to defeat. And me being me, I tried to kill it, and it didn't go very well. Oh! Oh! Oh, that hurt! Oh! No, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna, we can't kill this. There's no way. We're not going to be able to kill this. Oh, oh my god, okay. Okay, that w he's not- Wow, I'm almost dead. We are not fighting him. He's not even bloody. Look at that, he's not even bloody. So we went back home and luckily we survived. And later on I went out and found the level 145 Fabled Argentavius. And I tamed him up as I actually really needed him. And it was kind of cool. Now look at those stats. This guy is insanely overpowered. And then on my way back, the volcano decided to you know, almost try to kill me. So I went home and I just went to sleep. On day 71, I made myself a fabled Argentavia saddle, and you know I tested him out, and wow. The guy could fly frontwards and backwards and sideways, and this guy could go any direction you wanted him to go. It was crazy. I then went out, and uh, I very much nearly died. I just, I don't know why I did this, but I did. Ah! Uh, don't kill me! So yeah, we very nearly died, and I flew away from him, and then I found this guy. It's that easy. Oi! Hey! You stole my loot! All I wanted to do was just tame my female Dilophosaur, and you know, these guys just started stealing my loot. So I went around and killed them all and made sure it didn't happen again, and after I killed them, I then tamed her. You know, I knocked her out, tamed her up, and it was sorted. I went around looking for more, and eventually, I actually came across this guy, a primal Kentrosaurus. Hello. Oh! Ouch. Ouch. So, his reflection damage did way too much damage. There was no way I was going to kill him, so I ended up just trying to knock him out, and this didn't work either. So I decided it was probably best for me to just give up for now and not try to kill that guy. I went back and I noticed something. Huh? Huh? Wait. Huh? What? Since when do males lay eggs? On day 72, I spent most of the day flying around and trying to find some Dilophosaurs to tame. I needed myself a male and a few females, and after a bit of searching, I eventually found a female Dilophosaur. And while taming it, he decided to spit on me. I didn't really appreciate that, as I can't really see nothing when he spits on me. But it was fine. I knocked her out and tamed her up, and we went finding find another one. I eventually found one, and I knocked it out as well. We tamed it up, and that was our second female. It was going good. I then found a male, finally. And, uh, yes, I knocked it out, and then gave it some food, and tamed it up. It was then mine. So I took them all home, and I threw them out, and then I made some medical brews. They're like potions, and they're super strong, and they work really well. I then made myself some dino field darts. They're pretty cool. On day 73, I spotted a primal raptor. This is one of the first bosses, and I had to take him down. 
So I ended up fighting him for a while and 20 minutes later. He ended up dying uh, pretty soon, you know. He actually didn't take long to kill, to be fair. It was quite fast. And I got myself some loot. I got a, a primal soul, and I had no idea what I did with that, and some flak leggings. And these leggings were insane. And then we went out and tamed an oviraptor for a better egg production, because they actually you know, make the eggs lay faster. On day 74, I spent the day looking around to tame fabled feather lights. And the reason is because they lay eggs quite fast. So I figured the best way would actually to be tame these, and funny enough, I could actually ride this as well. And then I bred them, got an egg, and I popped a little baby out of it, and got a fabled baby. And it was kind of cool. On day 75, I spotted a celestial Argentavius, and I decided I was going to try and kill him. And believe it or not, it was actually quite easy. Ah, you know, this guy didn't have any special powers like any of the others. You know, if it was any of the other Celestials, I wouldn't have even been able to get in one mile radius of them without getting killed. So, I was quite lucky, got a bit of loot, and then I found a fabled Ankylosaurus. I knocked him out, and I had one kibble. I had one kibble to tame him. So, I had to hope that that one kibble was going to work. And, well... As you can tell, I was kind of upset, but I went home and made two kibble, we came back and we tamed him up, and everything was fine. Day 76, I went out farming with the Ankylosaurus, and well, I was quite disappointed. I didn't get a lot of metal, really, at all, and then I ended up seeing this guy, the Celestial Allosaurus, so I decided I was going to abort the mission, I didn't feel like dying today. And then I ended up finding a fabled Argentavius, a female, which meant I could breed it with mine, and then we could get some eggs. On day 77, I went out and tried to find a tree where I could place sap taps, and I eventually found one. I placed the sap taps around, as I would need the sap for certain things, like making a shotgun. And then I got some obsidian, got some metal. I actually got a lot of metal, we quite needed it quite a lot, so we stocked up. As you see, we got a lot, we filled up the forges, and yeah, that was pretty much it. I then went out looking for a fabled unicorn, and I eventually found one. What level is it? <laughs> what level? 85. Oh my god, a level 150? That nah, you're mine. You are mine. Whoa! Knockout. It is quick. Oh my god. Knockout. Oh my. Slow down. Slow down. Slow, <laughs> Slow down. Stop it! Ah. So we eventually got him knocked out, and you know, I tamed him up. And as beautiful as he is, it's quite obvious. If you don't think he's beautiful, then you're blind. So we tamed him up, and yes, I wanted to give him a try out instantly, and look at this guy. Isn't he cute? Yeah, wow, I was very impressed with him. So I rode back, and whew. On day 78, I made myself some Omega Kibble, which meant I'll be able to tame myself some Allosaurs, which then meant I'll be able to make some Celestial Kibble in the future. And then I went around just collecting eggs all day, and then I went out, killed a bunch of things for fun, and that was about it. That's all I did. On day 79, I found myself an Omega Allosaurus, and I had to tame it. He shouldn't be able to get up here. Ooh! Oh my god! So I then started knocking him out, and it didn't take long after him running away from me about a million times, and I eventually knocked him out. Thank god for that. It took a while, but uh, we eventually tamed him up, and uh, look at that. This is uh, pretty interesting. My first Omega Allosaur, but then I went out and got another one. How lucky. And then, later in the day, I found this guy. An Origin Raptor, and I spent ages trying to kill him. And it didn't go very well. I eventually, you know, started to give up. I spent a long time attacking him, and he just didn't take any damage at all. So I gave up on him and flew away. And then I spotted some raptors, and I accidentally flew into the water. That was a big mistake. Ah! Get me out of it! Get me out of it! Get me out of it! I screwed up! I screwed up! I screwed up! I screwed up! I did not mean to do this. Did not mean to do this. No. Let me on! Let me on! Oh shoot! <sighs> oh! Ah! Pick me up! Pick me up! Pick me up! I can't grapple to feather lights. Pick me up! Come closer! Come closer! Ugh, there we go. Woo. On day 80, I went out looking for a primal Allosaurus, and uh, 
on my way, I found this guy. There's a Celestial Terrazino. I didn't want to get too close to him. I'd probably end up dead. Very much so. But then I eventually found the Primal Allosaurus, and, well, I spent a while trying to kill him. It didn't take too long. And after a few hits later, here and there, he started getting bloody, and I eventually killed him. It was quite easy. It didn't take long at all. And I got a bit of element and uh, some other things, and it was uh, pretty profitable. I went back to the home and started crafting myself some stronger narcotics made with the blood of a primal. Uh, they're pretty powerful narcotics, and definitely worth it. On day 81, I found myself a level 85 male Omega Allosaurus, so I had to tame him. Ah! After a few shots and a few screams later, we eventually tamed him, and you know, we took him home, and uh... On my way back, I was feeling a bit darish, and I started attacking this guy. Oh! So, uh, luckily, I managed to survive, and I missed death, just by a few inches, and he literally put a hole in the island. <laughs> what the f- And after witnessing that, I went home and went to sleep. On day 82, I started breeding up all the Allosauruses together, and waited a little bit, and got some eggs. I then hatched the eggs, and, well, I got some babies, would you know it. And obviously, I imprinted on them, and claimed them, and surprisingly enough, we were quite lucky today. We got a female, and then we claimed the other one, and got a female again. I was quite happy. And then I made myself a primal shotgun, and this is like no other shotgun, okay? This is more powerful than any other shotgun, and, well, look at it. 30,000 damage in one hit. And then tried to heal it with the Omega Allosaurus, and well, I healed it to full in one hit. That's kind of crazy. On day 83, I made my first Celestial Kibble. And then we went out and found an Omega Allosaurus, and I killed it. And then I had a Ferrazino on me, so I used the Ferrazino to actually harvest it. And we got quite a lot of hide. We got 700 hide off that one Allosaurus. I then went to home and killed a bunch of Allosauruses that I didn't need. Got even more hide, and then I realized something. This guy was taking a lot less damage than everyone else. And what I realized is, these guys have separate stat systems. They have damage reductions, speed increases, and damage increases. And this guy, well, he has a, a speed increase. And as you can tell, he's super quick. On day 84, now I found myself a male level 150 Allosaurus. And I knew instantly I had to tame this guy up. There was no doubt about it. So I ran around for quite a while and eventually knocked him out. He was a pain. But we eventually had him, and I replaced him with the old male breeder. On day 85, I imprinted on more Allosauruses, and uh, these are pretty cool. They actually are. I then made myself another Celestial Kibble, and then I went out and found this guy. It was a Primal Allosaurus, and today I wanted to give it a fair fight. Allosaurus versus Allosaurus. And uh, this is quite a long fight, but as you can tell, I barely took any damage. My damage reduction was just too overpowered, and, well... I just did a lot of damage and he didn't do any. I eventually managed to kill him. It's pretty easy. I got some nice little loot out of him and uh, quite cool, but that was about it. We got a bit of element and a primal soul and we went back home. Day 86, the big day. And today I made myself a fabled unicorn saddle and we had a place to be, to tame a Therizino, a celestial Therizino. And uh, well, we had a few very close calls. Okay, calm down. We then got back to knocking him out, and well, I just kept on shooting him, but then I almost died again. Ah, ah! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm literally dead. I'm literally dead. I'm literally dead. I am literally. Oh, I don't know what happened. My camera angle was scuffed. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh! So, I came back with a Pegasus this time, and well, I started knocking him out, and eventually, he actually did knock out, and it went quite well. So, I then went down and checked his stats, and look at this, he had nearly a million health without Tame. And with Tame, he had over a million. That's kind of crazy. This guy is uh, extremely powerful. I went home and threw him where he belonged, on my beach, and yes, for the day, that was kind of it. We just chilled. From days 87 to 89, I spent the entire two days looking for a celestial dinosaur, and on my way, I killed an Omega Allosaurus. I got an Ascendant Sniper, which is actually a primal, and it does a lot of damage. And I eventually found a Celestial Argentavius, and yes, look at how much damage it does, and it's uh, insanely powerful. I then made quick work of the Celestial, and used my Ferrazino to harvest him, and I got a ton of hide. Actually, I got 1,500 off of one Celestial. That's so uh, crazy. And then went back and made myself a Celestial Saddle, and uh, then leveled my Ferrazino up, and he had a lot of missing health. I used the Allosaurus to heal him up, and it healed him to full. 
On day 90, I went out and tried out the Ferrazino, and wow, I tell you, he is ridiculous, honestly, he's crazy. I literally fired one thing and pretty much destroyed half of the island that was on. And then obviously, as well, somehow, I survived a Nuka Dodo. I don't know how I did that, but this guy just seems to make me immune. He's pretty overpowered. And then I spotted myself in a Primal Allosaurus, and he was high level as well. So, I used the Ferrazino and decided to take him on. Damn. Uh -oh. How do I do that thing? Crap. Down! Down! So we eventually managed to take him down, and it was kind of easy. I mean, he did a bit of damage to me. It wasn't really a problem, though. But we did get our loot, which is the main thing, and yeah, it was fun. Days 91 to 93. I spent the entire time looking across the island for a celestial Allosaurus. And eventually, at the end of day 93, I found one. So, I spent the rest of the time of day 93 and day 94 trying to tame him, and well, yeah, it was a very close fight. He nearly killed me a few times, but luckily, we just about survived. Ah! Oh my goodness! Oh, that was close. I carried him knocking him out through the night and then through the day as well, and eventually, after many screams and panics and almost deaths later, I eventually had him knocked out. It was perfect. So, then obviously, he was unconscious, and Look at those stats, he is powerful. But I fed him some kibble, tamed him up, and he was mine. He was perfect, so I made him a saddle, and jobs are good un. On day 85, now I spent most of the day preparing for the next day, where I'd be taking down my first boss. So I leveled everything up and started lining things up where they should be, and yeah, I just basically did that most of the day, and then I healed everything up and made sure it was all full health. I then had to level up my Celestial Allosaurus, which is quite important, as, you know, he's the main guy. I then made myself some flak as my safety mattered, and it was a lot better. And it actually suited me, especially with my top hat, it looked good. I then went out with the Allosaurus, and wow. This guy is super powerful. He really is. He does a lot of damage and a lot of high numbers. And then I gave my dinosaurs a little pep talk before the big day. Okay. Tomorrow is a big day, as you know. Mr. Allosaur, Mr. Therizino, Allo is in the back. We have a job tomorrow. We need to kill... An origin. Yes, yeah, y yes, you know. I know. I know you want it. I know you want to kill him. And tomorrow we're going to take him down. Our first boss. The day came, and I started heading over to a location where I'd be able to take down the boss. We went over, and I prepared myself. I then started the boss in the air, and we began the fight. This is where it went down. What is going on? Get him! And we managed to take him down. Just like that. I got myself some crazy flak boots and got myself the tribute of the raptor. But it wasn't over yet, we still had a lot of the harder bosses to kill, and that was only the first of many. Days 97 to 98. I spent the two days preparing for the next day, and uh, I just healed up all my allosaurs and raised some more, as I believed I was going to need more, especially for what was coming next. The next bosses were a lot harder, and you know, I prepared my new allosaurs, leveled them up, and got them ready for the next day. Day 99. I was ready, you know, we headed out and we had our next boss, which was an Argentavius, and today I had to be super smart if I was going to beat this. We grounded him, we grounded him. What are you guys doing, huh? Just don't let him fly, don't let him fly. Okay, one died, one died, it's fine. It's fine. Give him a little heal. Boom. Get him down, get him down. Nice, nice. Get 
need to heal him. I need to heal him. Get him down. It's going well, it's going well. Oh no. Get him down, get him down, keep him down, keep him down, keep him down. Blast him, blast him. Boom! Big damage, big damage. Big hits. Heal him again, heal him again. Boom. And then, after the long fight, we eventually took him down. We got our tech engrams and we also got some crazy loot. We got our tribute, we got some flak leggings, and yes, we finally defeated the boss. So, we had one boss remaining, and the next day, that is when we take down the hardest boss that we've faced yet. So, we're going to go to sleep, and see you tomorrow. This is day 100. The day that everything has led up to, and hopefully we can take this boss down. It's our final boss. Let's find out if we can take him down. Oh my, this, he hurts. Wow, he does a lot of damage. Okay, we need to heal, we need to heal. Okay, we just need to keep healing and keep getting some damage in. Come on. Keep hitting, keep hitting. Deal the damage, deal the damage. Oh no. Come on, I'll heal you. Heal you again, come on. Damage him, damage him, damage him. Oh. Yes! Let's go! So, we managed to take down one of the hardest bosses. And I got some crazy loot. I really did. However, we have a few more bosses on us. So, do you think that we could take down a Wyvern? You know, let's give it a go. Maybe I can. Uh, you know, let's see. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's start this. Wait, what? Where did he go? What happened? Huh? Huh? So, if you want to see me go 200 days and defeat the bosses and beyond, then hit that like button. If we can hit 1,000 likes, then we'll do it.